you all accept it. So we have a small but mighty group with us today. Um, for those who are watching the recording, I'm Denise O'Malley, the founder of You Define Wellness. And we are launching a, a new <laughs> idea. Um, the thought came up, let's do some town halls. And, and I'm calling it town halls because I, I don't know what else to call it. It's really, it's just, it's an informal um, uh, conversation where those who are interested in what we have to talk about can come in and ask questions. And I'm really wanting to focus on things that are key for business for health and wellness professionals. So um, starting off this off was a conversation I had with my guest today, Charlene Ignacio, and we, she is a provider in the Unified Wellness Network. And we got to talking about sales and marketing and delivering information to health and wellness professionals. And I realized this lady is, oh my gosh, she's in a, a mastermind in and of herself and is a wealth of information. So what we're gonna to do today, we have no set agenda other than I have a bunch of questions going around in my head and you all know how dangerous that can be. So we don't know where it's gonna go. But um, Charlene, thanks for joining us today. I really appreciate it. We'll have an opportunity for everybody to get to know each other. When you have a question, just please make sure that you are introducing yourself before you ask a question and feel free to jump in at any time. Charlene, let's start, and let me make sure I get this right. I've heard your name said Charlene. I've heard it said Char. I have used both. Which do you prefer? Charlene is for like serious people and Char is for friends. Yay, so, Char. Char. Um, I know that we met, that we've had some fun. We've probably eaten some food together. And probably. so Char would be fun um, okay. for everyone to talk and call my name. Awesome, awesome. See, we got the easy question out of the way first. <laughs> So as I said, you are a coach's guru. Um, tell us a little bit about what it is that you do so you can set the stage for us. You're so kind. Um, Denise, thank you for having me here. And thank everyone else for being here and making the time to level up your business and learn more. You know, I always make the promise to my clients is you'll always take one thing away or more that will change the direction of your business. It's a small adjustment, it's a small pivot. And a lot of people, you know, worry about having 10,000, 20,000 clients, or they worry about 500 strategies. And I said, what if we could just do it one or two? Just so simple. And it's like, oh, and it really gives them permission to come there. And that's really what Coach to Coach Academy is about, is really helping our clients either start a coaching business, add a coaching business to their existing business, or third is really 5X their business in a way that their coaching business becomes enjoying, uh, enjoying clients again. Um, one of our clients said, I don't wanna be a slave to my business. And they realized that they actually could step away from their business and let it run because we provide uh, strategic sales and marketing. We have an actual team that becomes their team. Uh, so they don't have to do the things they don't want to do and they can let a team actually step in and help them. And then the third thing that we really pride ourselves is that we uh, lead by inspiration. Um, mm -hmm. When Coach to Coach Academy was started, it was focusing on saying, what is our true purpose? And, you know, when people have corporate careers or they've done something for so long and it just comes natural and they go, sure, I'm not a coach. And I say, you know, what? indirectly or directly, you are a coach. You're mentoring, you're coaching up, you're helping someone see something they can't see. Those are all attributes of, of coaching. And so we really uh, lead a life of inspired um, business development, uh, creation of even content around your marketing. And so Denise, we have a great time at Coach to Coach Academy. It's, um, it's really doing two things. We're trying to help our clients not be in the CSA-ness. Um, okay, explain. Uh, the CSA-ness, <laughs> you know, this is the thing. Everyone, you know, is a business owner. And let's just use an example. You know, there's a hundred restaurants that serve a hundred burgers, but what makes them stand out? Because they're not the, in the sea of sameness. They have a, a MVP about them. You know, this is the most valuable uh, offer that they can give to their clients. And so when we look at our coaches and our business owners, we realize that sometimes they're in the sea of sameness because they want to follow this person's strategy or that person's strategy, and they never start with themselves. And a hundred times out of a hundred, the solution that they're really looking for is inside of them. They're oh, just, wonderful. They're just kind of in their own way. And aren't we always in our own way because we think we know it all and we have to figure it out. Or I have one client, she said, 
Shar, you've given me permission to remove perfection and just get it done versus mull over, over and over, hours and hours on a couple of paragraphs or content for social media. And so in the CSA miss, you know, we really pride ourselves that our clients uh, always will stand out because we don't worry about what everyone else is doing. We, we focus in on what they're great at and let everything else be taken care of by the team. And the second thing that we really uh, feel like it's a gift and, and indirectly and directly our clients realize this is that um, when they do, you know, this space of virtual, it's really hard because, you know, they're so used to in-person marketing. They're so used to, you know, going to a networking event. They're so used to being able to meet a group of people. And so when we introduce, you know, this idea that online can be the same experience, you just have to do different things in order to engage. It kind of just, just takes them and just says, gives them the confidence that they want so that they can have a virtual business. They can be online. They can have relationships you know, across the country or clients, you know, in their neighborhood that they couldn't even meet without the power of social media or the power of an online uh, strategy. And so those two things, we really help our clients get out of their own way and realize that there is so much more out there. They just have to kind of change that thinking that they're, you know, they have to do everything the same way that they've always done it. So I just have learned something about you. I should have known this ahead of time. What? You're the type of guest that all I have to do is wind you up and let you go. <laughs> <laughs> and you are off to the races. I love it. Um, so let's talk um, a, a little bit about what you focus on coaches. I got a bunch of coaches in my world. You've got a bunch in your world. What's the number one hang up? Okay. Besides getting in the way of yourself. Okay. What's the number one thing that you find that most coaches are needing right now? They hate sales. Yeah. Yeah. It I'm is, seeing the heads nodding. <laughs> it, it is literally when you say, you know, sure. I just want to coach. I'm like, okay, did you know you have to do some sales? What <laughs> are you talking about? I don't want to do that. Or I'm used to corporate America and I'm just used to doing the work and getting paid. And I'm like, yep. So let's talk about this sales. And it's just this, you know, red alert, red alert, get out of the room. They scatter, they hide behind a rock. Yep. Uh, they just, they just hate it. And that yep. is literally, um, if everyone in the room agrees, right? Sales is just this icky, awful topic. No one wants to talk about. You know, there, I've worked with thousands of health and wellness professionals for since about 2006. So there's a lot of people who have come across it my world. And I, I ended up writing a book a few years ago. It's not available in print right now because we have some um, editing that we're doing on the revised version, but it was called, Hey clients, where are you? Because I, after meeting with thousands of health and wellness professionals from optometrists to the coaches and everybody in between, I found that they were all passionate about what they're doing so much so that they wanted to do it their way. So they decided to go into business their, themselves and they did what they needed to do, set up their website, join, you know, set up a Facebook group, got business cards, um, went into business, hung out their, their shingle, threw open the doors and no one's there. And then after you work your, through your friends and family list, you wake up to the realization you got to sell. You, you have to promote you because nobody else is going to promote you for you. No, they really aren't. They, no. People are buying you. So they need to see you. So what's a good way for people to be seen? Well, you know, in 18 years of working specifically in the functional medicine space, this is one of the hardest things that our clients have struggled with associations. I mean, every health professional comes out of the gate and they want to save the world. Yeah. They want to help every single person they meet. You know, some of them, will go without paying themselves for years at a time and they wonder why they have the financial strains that they do. I have some clients, they'll buy every laser, every new gadget, and it'll sit in a closet and their wife will call me and say, he's not allowed to buy a single thing until he starts selling. Um, so, you know, that answer is kind of tied up in, in understanding this space of health professionals and just the reason why they got into it is because they had an experience or they saw someone else and they wanted to give someone the power of choice. And I think visibility, credibility, being out there um, is really being able to speak your truth to connect with people, not in their head, but in their heart. And I know that's so cliche because a lot of people are like, 
Char, I don't like public speaking. I don't like getting in front of everyone. I don't want to, you know, take center stage. I don't want people to think I'm bragging. Yeah. And 100% of that, Denise, is their own story they're telling themselves. It is their own story. You know, so this is a good segue into one of the mm -hmm. things I wanted to make sure that we covered today. So thank you Denise for that. And I really like each other a lot. And we play off yeah. of each other really well. Yes, we do. We can have the biggest hearts, guys. Yeah. And the reality check stops here with all of us. So we're so excited. Absolutely. So many years ago, um, I think before my first child was born, and he's going to be 25 in January. So this was many years ago. I started teaching a public sp uh, speaking program called um, uh, Communicate with Confidence. That actually that name's actually taken, so I can't use it. it. Was with an organization I was with. I had actually been public speaking since I was 10 years old, and that's what happens when you're the Girl Scout troop le leader's daughter, and you have to be the color guard. You know, the person announcing color guard. You know, you know. so and then there was a ton of public speaking uh, over the years, and I've spoken in front of groups of thousands to small groups, and um, I decided I, a while ago, I wanted to teach public speaking with our providers within the You Define Wellness Network, but also for independent health and wellness professionals in general, because getting their story out there is hard and they fumble and they stumble or they get those butterflies all tied up and, and they don't know that really all you have to do is teach them how to fly in formation. You're going to be fine, right. but it's how do you get to that point? So um, I'm going to put a plug in right now for those who are facing the challenge of public speaking. I know you, you're passionate about what you're doing and I know you can talk about it, but we have a program called Confident Communicators and we do it for four weeks. So in the month of January, we have two classes that are gonna be going on. Um, it's a four week intensive program. It's two to three hours, I think it is a once a week where I'm drilling you on different things. You do not know what we're gonna be covering each week. It may be, hey, you're going to have a three minute speech today. You're going to be talking about this. And if you stop talking before the three minutes are up, we have a lot of dead time. I Just warning. That. So we have this program. Uh, the January class is free for you to find wellness network providers. Uh, it's dynamite. Um, it, for those who are not in our network, it is $299. This is the last time it's been offered free for you to find wellness network providers. So uh, if you're interested in it at all, I encourage you to go to our website. I'm going to show you this real quick, and then I'm going to stop the commercial that's going on in my head here. But if you go to the you to find wellness um, website, go over to provider news, you're going to find this page. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see confident communicators. And if you link over to it, there is the information, the details, the registration form, $299. But everyone who graduates from the course also gets their final talk. Hey, you got to talk in this program. It's called Confident Communicators. So just letting you know, you're going to have speeches you're going to be doing. But their final talk um, will actually be uh, put into a video with your branding and your picture so that you could then use it on your website if you want. That alone is I don't know what the value of that is. I've heard it's anywhere from, you know, 150 to $1,500 or more uh, for that kind of a thing. So just so you know that we have that going on. So, um, you know, we're trying to help support those because we know they're passionate, but they can't always get their message through. And, you know, the last thing I'll say about this is we had somebody who wrote us a testimonial and it's on the page. It was someone who has been a big stage speaker. And I was a little surprised when I saw that she registered for it. Um, I it was kind of like, okay, I know you're a big stage speaker. Why are you here? And, um, she ended up giving me a written testimonial where she says, you know, I'm a trained speaker. I have been on stages for decades. Why did I take this class? Because I wanted to polish my virtual speaking skills. And what I discovered is that I learned so much more. And so that's the intent behind it. But there's things that we're not going to be covering. And that's why I wanted to have Char here. And because, um, you do, what I don't do is teach people how to get on the stages. You do. That's yeah. something that you have put together is how you get in, in front of other people. Yes. So you know, and, and it's mm -hmm. one thing, you know, it's one thing to know everything, guys, but it's so what? So what that you know how to speak? So what if you know what to talk about, you know, cell, uh, cell regeneration? So what if you know how to talk about nutrition or weight loss? 
it doesn't matter. You know all these things, but until you actually execute and apply it where you're actually sharing it, guess what? It doesn't matter. You're not serving yeah. a single person. Yeah. And so when you talk about selling and people are afraid of sales, guess what happens? You actually can serve them, which means you're selling. So you don't have to have that icky feeling. And when you're speaking and actually on stages and getting your one page bio done and you're out there and you're sought after and people are contacting you to speak on the virtual and in-person stages, now that knowledge you have matters. Yeah. Yeah. So you will actually, I call it a speaker sheet. You said it's a one page bio, but yep. you will actually work with people on putting together the speaker sheet, which is really helpful. Okay. So I'm going to share this. I had um, a message from someone who uh, said, I don't need to take your confident communicators class, Denise. I already know how to do public speaking. I, what I need to know is how to get myself in front of, um, you know, I need more speaking gigs. And my response to her was, okay, send me your, your speaker sheet. And she was like, what's a speaker sheet? Well, the speaker sheet is a list that says the things that you could talk about. Right. So that people who, I, if you just tell me you want more speaking gigs, I don't know what you want to speak about. So this is a helpful tool. So you're going to work with them on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then you're going to talk about, okay, now that you have the speaker sheet, what do you do with it? Exactly. So the program is going to be in February. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we are looking at the 8th and 9th. It is going to be a two-day workshop. Uh, one of the things that, that is going to be for the community is get a discounted rate. It's going to be $397, but for the community, we're going to knock off $300 and charge you $97. That's for, oh, wow. that's for you to be there. And that's for us to really get you set up and, and ready to go. Now, here's the thing. In two days, you could get all this information from us and you're going to say, Char, I am so excited to have all this knowledge, but then you're going to say, I didn't take any action. And so during this two days, we're actually going to have a team ready to help you take action where they're going to physically help you get booked for gigs, get you set up on your LinkedIn profile, help you get your one page going, get your headshot scheduled if you don't have a headshot. Our goal is to say, here's the knowledge, but help you execute. And that's what we have found at Coach to Coach Academy has literally changed our clients yeah. overnight because they're like, Char, I'm not going to ever get to do this. Please help me execute. So during the two days, there's, there's three things that we're gonna promise you, we're gonna deliver. One, we're actually going to help you find ways to get lists of speaking gigs and opportunities. Our clients every single month actually get a speaker list of over 102 speaking opportunities, both local, nationally, virtual, and in person. And if they're on the speaker track, this is where we help them do their one page, get their LinkedIn set up. So you're actually getting something that our clients physically get as part of our coaching program. The second promise is that you're actually going during this time is actually gonna figure out one of your signature talks. Because here's the deal guys, and this is really gonna hurt some people's feelings. You fire hose people with so much knowledge and it's like, ah, and they just run away and you wonder why they didn't convert or why they didn't ask more questions is because you were so worried about did you do enough? Did you get enough? Did you help them enough that you overwhelm the person? So we're actually going to help you come up with your one signature talk. There's many signature talks that a lot of speakers have, but for just the time and the constraint, we want to pick one so that you can formulate that and work on it during the time that we're together. So that's really a content component, okay? And the third promise, and this is where I feel like a lot of us go, Oh my gosh, sure. you're asking me something really hard. We're actually going to have a private Facebook group where you're going to actually do a 60 second pitch so that you know how to ask for a speaking gig. Do you know how much money and time that is just to perfect that? Yeah. And so we are just overwhelmed with being a part of this community and just excited to be with Denise and supporting everything that she's doing. And guys, everything that she's going to teach you matters but it doesn't matter if you're not gonna execute it. And so we're the execution complement to what Denise is gonna teach you guys. I am so excited about this. Do we have a link for it yet? Yes, so I'm gonna send you the link so you can post it because I, I want everyone to do that. Now yep. I'm gonna put in the chat, my personal email so that people can contact me directly because some of you are gonna have questions. Some of you are gonna say my situation's different and I'm gonna say, you sure are, but we're going to help you remember that this is going to be hands in, hands on. So I hold your hand during these two days of live coaching, live teaching, 
and live execution because yeah. it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have. It just matters what you do with it. So I'm going to put that in the chat here and I want everyone to have Thanks. that. So I want to recap for those who have come in, um, you know, what we, we're talking about sales and marketing. We got on the subject about public speaking and um, you define wellness has a confident communicators course in January. The link is in the chat box that if you don't have, if you showed up after I put it there, let me know, but that, and that's just to get you, it's a four week intensive program to get you the butterflies flying them formation. And then Char will have in February a two-day intensive workshop on how to get these speaking gigs and yes. position yourself for it. So we're teaming up for some pretty amazing stuff. So I'm going to say enough about the commercial now. Let's talk about what questions those here in the audience have regarding any of what we've talked about so far. Does anybody have any questions you want to pipe up with? None? Okay, we're going to. Susan? I don't really have a question, just a comment that, um, uh, and I'm new to, to your group, uh, Denise, but I'm excited to be a part of that now. But um, I have been a part of Shar's group for a while now. And so I just want to just uh, acknowledge that and that um, every everything she promises, she does deliver on. So she is like, um, goes over and above. And I think, um, Anybody that's considering that or needs help with that, I don't really need help with speaking <laughs> per se, getting the, because once I start talking, it, it goes forever. But um, the uh, getting connections and all that is just super. And it's it's exactly that, right? Like we all have all these things going through our head, but if we don't execute on them, if we don't do something with it, then it really doesn't help our business. We might like, oh, this is great and wonderful and feel good about it. But it doesn't help our business if we don't do something about it. So I just wanted to um, add that as a as a little uh, testimonial for that because it's awesome. And anybody thinking about it, go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that, um, Susan. Thanks, Susan. That. I'm her biggest fan, and I love the fact <laughs> that she's a part of you. Define wellness. I'm so thrilled for her to be a part of this community, guys. Yeah. I'm telling you, Denise attracts the very best. Not because she has to know every little thing about everything. It's just the fact that she cares. She cares about everyone's success. And I am so excited to be here, have Susan on here to share that. So thank you, Denise, for bringing us together. Well, thank you. Um, you know, Susan has recently applied to join the You Define Wellness Network. I'm 99.9% .9 sure she's going to be accepted into our network. She actually is the founder of a group called the Holistic Institute of Wellness, which if you are an independent health and wellness professional, I sincerely urge you to go over and take a look at some of the stuff that they're doing. They actually have a program coming up here on December 2nd, which is Thursday, I think it is on uh, budgeting for your business. That's the one subject none of us want to talk about, but you know what? If we're in business for ourselves, we all need to be talking about it. So it's going to be fun and um, informative at the same time. And you can find information on their Facebook page. And um, I don't think I've put it yet on the You Define Wellness Facebook page, but Susan, I will um, uh, get it out there on that page as well. But, um, you know, Sales and marketing is, what's this? We have a December 15th event on. Yes, Susan what, and I are this? doing it together. Uh, we're doing a business strategy workshop. A lot of people um, that go, okay, so what do I do? And it's like, uh, well, let's talk about a holistic approach to your business. And that's really valuable because sales and marketing are hand in hand. And a lot of people think I've got to just have a checklist business. And Susan and has been this great example to me for her holistic approach to business, as well as being able to think about your budget. Guys, no one wants to talk about that hard stuff. So we're teaming up and doing that. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have to make sure I share this here because we're coming together in a holistic approach to your business strategy for 2022. Okay, so if we're still talking about events, I've got another one. Yeah, let's just put it out here, ladies. What's going on to help support you in your business? You can yes. see, and I mean, that's... I'm out of business if you guys are out of business. Bottom line. So my commitment is to make sure you stay in business. We lost. Can I have a boom for that? Like yeah. boom. I'm gonna be boom. a boom girl. Boom. We we lost 30% of our provider network over uh, because of the pandemic. And it wasn't because they got sick. That's not what it was. They went out of business. They closed their doors. 30% of the independent health and wellness professionals in our network closed their doors. That just breaks my heart. 
So that's my commitment is that we're going to do everything we can to make sure that you guys are successful and profitable and help you with all these things that, I mean, it's business, being in business is a lot of stuff. One of the most challenging things is to create social media posts that people like and we'll share and we'll comment on. So we've got something going on on December 21st. Yes, I know it's the week of Christmas, but we figured that's a good time to have fun and play. So we have a networking event. We have a group called C3. It stands for um, Community Connections Collaboration. It's a free networking group for health and wellness professionals out there, uh, sponsored by You Define Wellness. And we are having this event on, on the 21st. Um, we're going to play a game. Have you, has anybody here played Cards Against Humanity? Ah, it's yeah. fun, right? It's nasty. Uh, we're going to do a clean version of it. Of course, it may not be. Who knows? There is this business game out there called Brands Against Mundanity. Whoa, I love okay. that. So in other words, not having mundane, boring social media posts, right? So we're going to play this game. Um, it's a lot of fun. It works very much like Cards Against Humanity. I have figured out how to do it on Zoom. So we're going to have fun playing it where the intent is you're going to walk away with a month's worth of social media content. Awesome, that will be awesome. fun stuff that people will go, what? So um, it's, you know, fill in the blank type of a thing. And who knows, uh, hopefully it will help you kick 2022 off to a, a good start. It's a free event of open to anyone. We hope you'll come out and play with us because I'm looking forward to it. Um, it is scheduled for an hour and a half. We do understand people have to leave frequently after the hour mark, but those who don't and can stay with us for the full hour and a half will get more content. Awesome. So, are you put the link in there or what? I mean, oh, I want to yeah, register. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come okay. on. Okay. okay. There's okay. a boom. <laughs> I'll put the link in the chat box. You oh. can find it if you go to Facebook. Um, okay. And it is at the um, on the You Define Wellness Facebook page. Um, but I will post it here. And thank you, um, Kim, for asking for that link. I appreciate it. So, um, Getting seen. Um, we've talked about that. We've got the public yes. speaking. We've got all the social media. We've got things to help you with your business. There's all kinds of things that are happening. I just love all this uh, activity that is happening. But I'm curious, as business owners, what are you guys, what are the issues that you're facing? You've got a sales and marketing expert here in Shar, and you've got a, a very opinionated pe person in me. So what questions do you guys have that you want to um, bring up to the experts while you have them? Robert, you're always good for a question. And by the way, it's really good to see you. But we, hey, Kelly Fox jumped in ahead of you. Sorry. Um, is it okay if I talk? Because I can't yep. type in the chat. You're okay. totally great. Yeah, please do. Uh, if you're driving, do not type in the chat. Yeah. So um, I don't know because I came in late. So I don't know if you guys covered this already. But I find with my marketing that I'm not sharing my message in a way to convert people to come to my workshops or even to um, engage on on our in our communities in our you know our Facebook group or Facebook page um, and uh, I post something every day so it's not consistency I have the consistency down but it's not it's not creating um, engagement. So there's a couple of things. Um, and this is a strategy that I get paid for by my clients to help them fix their Facebook group. So just know that there's a value in there. Um, and Kelly, thanks for taking uh, a chance to share. One of the first things I do is check your three questions when you allow them into the group. First, go through those questions. See if you're asking for their email because that's an engagement point. Two, ask if that's a standard of the culture of the community that you wanna establish. You, so you can massage it, update that. And then three, those questions need to be refreshed as this group's evolving, okay? Because you're gonna see, oh, these kind of members are in here. You might wanna do a survey or a poll in the group that says, hey, these are the three things I wanna talk about who's, you know, who's interested. Um, Questions are engaging. You might also want to do a couple of events in there. 
uh, whether it's like a live or you want to do a networking, uh, a lot of times the person that wants to buy from you doesn't ever comment or post. They'll message you and also engage with you in a way like via email if you're sending out emails to say, hey, I'm interested. Because they don't like to have the spotlight on them when they're trying to tell them, tell, tell you that, hey, I have a problem. Can you help me solve it? Just, just kind of a rule of online social uh, seller. We have a program called Social Seller CEO, and this is one of the most common problems that we have um, when people are coming to us with, hey, fix my group, I need to improve it. The last thing, Kelly, and this is just a coach up moment, um, you know, sometimes you gotta clean out the group and have that as part of a way for you to get keep the right people and attract others. Um, and that's a way for people to self-select themselves out of it because people join, thousands of groups. I mean, everyone's inundated by so many groups and posts. And so that's just kind of a way uh, where you can um, have some confidence back in the group and, and be able to kind of love your group again. Because sometimes when it's frustrating, that, that energy can cross over where you're like, well, maybe I should clean up the group. Um, and Kelly, this is something really fun. The group that you have, is it primarily men or women? Um, I would say probably women. Okay. So one of the things about women groups, especially, is sometimes you have to have something that's not anything related. So like one of the things I do, and, and Susan knows this, is I will test big groups that have thousands of people. And I will put a post up like, what's your favorite chip? Um, you know, who likes pineapple on their pizza? I will get more engagement on that because it's generic. And so I'm not really trying to get serious about it. I just try to get some engagement, people to comment, people to like, because then the algorithm gets tripped and it says, hey, people like her stuff. Maybe we should show more uh, posts and engagement to others. So that's just a hack that I do for bigger groups, especially for women, because they like something that's not serious. They're not trying to like tell everybody their problems. They just want to have fun and engage. They're just kind of social butterflies. If, if I could categorize the women online, they just want to socialize. Hope that helps, Kelly. Thank you. It is frustrating when you have a Facebook group and you put events out there and it's crickets or you put the posts out there and it's crickets. So I think that having, um, you've really got to have a, a, a jumpstart program Shar, where you just <laughs> literally can blow up what you got and and kind of rebuild it it really is and a lot of times people will you know well, i just got to follow that strategy because i saw this in another group unless you really want to own it and like a hundred percent like engage it or have a team that does that part of it it just becomes one of those checklist things and you're not really purpose driven with your group um, and then sometimes there's seasons, right? Like I have a clubhouse entrepreneur network group, and it's specifically for clubhouse users to use that as a launch pad for events, to network and socialize, but it's in junction with clubhouse. So my strategy is to bring people in from clubhouse there and also vice versa. So you got to really think your strategy guys on your groups. Yeah, that's a really good idea. There's a million of, I just recently cleared out probably a hundred groups that I had accepted, you know, Hey, invited me to it. Okay. I'll go over and see what it is. Well, I'm not seeing what it is because it's not coming up in my timeline unless it's something I'm engaging with on a regular basis. And I, there were some of us like, I have no idea who these administrators are. I don't know how I got in it and I got out of them and there wasn't the content that I wanted, but I think there, that's another thing that's going on is you have these groups, you got a bunch of people in them, but they're not seeing what's happening in the timeline. So, um, you know, one thing that, depending on how many people you have in your group, you can send a private message to each one of them. I'll type something up in Word, cut, paste, and so it's a, an actual direct message with the person instead of inviting them to things. And just invite them to come back and, hey, I've got this poll going over here. I'd really like your opinion on it because they may not be seeing what's going on in your group. It's true, it's very, very true. Yeah. You know, I, I judge the new groups now by when I'm, uh, that are inviting me over. If it's private, I can't see what the posts are and what's going on. And I actually have a debate going on right now with someone who's wanting me to join her group and she's being very pers persistent. I may join it long enough to just go see what types of posts there are there and what kind of comments, but I will look at some of them, especially when I was deciding to get rid of them. And I'd see two people liked it no comments over and over and over and over and over again. And that's a group that really needs to be jump-started. It's true. 
That's so true. And I think one of the things, Denise, is a lot of people assume they have to do a thousand different strategies. You know, pick two yeah. or three platforms, guys, that you want to really dominate on and that you feel good about. You want to manage your time to, to be on there because that's where your energy will be able to be felt and that connection, that intent. Um, we have a team, of course, our clients use as part of their social engagement. And that's the reason why we coach up a social seller CEO program, because if you're not social selling online, um, you're really missing out on a lot of money. You're leaving money on the table. You really just want to harness two to three platforms, even if that at the most, that you feel like I'm going to show up every day to. So are those other people's groups that you're talking about or your own? Yeah, so I have my own group and then other people's groups um, because our clients use that as part of their strategy if it matches their product or service. Mm -hmm. um, we know, and this is probably a lot more than Denise expected, but we know that when Instagram and Facebook went down, we had people go, oh my gosh, I just lost my business. And it was eight hours of torment. And we yeah. said to every one of our clients, aren't you happy that you have other ways to reach your clients? Mm -hmm. And your potential customers. And they're like, yeah, ton of, what a relief. My whole life didn't depend on Instagram and Facebook shutting down. So just something to think about, guys. Yeah. You know, you don't own any of these platforms and they don't own you anything. So mm -hmm. you kind of are at the, I guess, at their mercy when you it are. shuts down or close down or whatever yeah. they want to call it. So get really real about your business, you know, for 2022 and, and don't wait till January. You have to do the momentum now. Oh, Excellent advice. So which platforms do you prefer? I prefer, um, and this is really silly to me, but I loved Clubhouse when it first came out. I, I did too. Early adopter. Um, I was in Business Insider Magazine because we had hit a revenue threshold that they were like, how do people do this on Clubhouse? And we said, we just keep it simple. We use the same business principles. So Clubhouse, definitely love. Uh, it's a hybrid of podcasting slash social media. And so it was, it was a really good place on Denise to just kind of land. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's been fun. Uh, two, speaking. That has just been virtual and in person. That has been my signature of mm -hmm. growth and scale. And that's the reason why we have that partnership together of like, get the knowledge. Now let's execute. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been speaking on international stages. We've been on podcasts. I've been in person coaching, you know, 35 to 75 women at a time. I'm very high touch. The third platform, which is just rule of thumb, is Facebook. Um, it's part of the strategy, but it's not where everything lands. Uh, so we have email marketing. Um, we also have LinkedIn. We also have networking. Mm -hmm. But I think, Denise, one of the things that a lot of health professionals go, I don't have time. Yes. We get it. So yeah. if you have a local chapter in your organization, you know, in your in your community, you know, like a BNI or some sort of like Toastmaster, like something where you can own it and like champion it, then do that. But if you have a product or service that's, you know, like health coaching, or if you guys are authors and you guys want to share your book and speak, then look at the virtual space as kind of that community that you, you probably aren't leveraging enough of. Mm -hmm. It's really a disservice, guys, if you're not really looking at these other platforms as a strategy for your marketing. Here's, here's my rule. If you don't ask, you never know. It's really simple. Like you don't know what you don't know, right guys? So if you don't ask people like, hey, I'm looking for speaking gigs or hey, I'm looking for other networking groups. What have you found? Or hey, is there a mastermind that you belong to? And I'm really looking you know, to level up you know, my, my business or my personal development. You must ask because there's other people who probably have the answer. And I always use this as my, my quote. You're only one person away from the solution you've been looking for. Yeah. So open your mouth. Open your mouth, ask people, you know, and a lot of times we have this FOMO or rejection and it's just the story we're telling ourselves, and, and that comes from something else. It's not business related. It's probably something in our early childhood, but sales and marketing guys is a reflection of what you are going on inside of you, right? If you have this no fear, right? If you have this love for people, it's because you have that love inside of you. You can't really fake that because that's where you disconnect with people and where people go, is she, is she for real? And when people say, yeah, she's for real. It's like, it's the story you're telling yourself. That's why you're repelling that person. It's because of what your own ideas are. And, and Denise and I have talked about this at length where, you know, we're just here to help and serve you, but we're also here to give you real advice. That's not fluffy or has, you know, 
warm fuzzies around it. We're kind of here to just tell you how it is. You know, when people go, how do you guys make this work? Oh, it's called work. <laughs> what do you mean? It's called work. There's nothing fancy about it. You know, and I, and I, and I see Stephanie laughing and I think she must think us women are a little wild. We are, and we like the boom, but we're just real. We just, we just want to be as real as possible for, for our clients and for people around us. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. I'm out of questions. Ah! Believe it or not, that's never happens. What at, okay. questions do you guys have? You, you, you can see where we're going. Stephanie. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, lead generation. Like one thing for me, I am trying to put some focus on building my email list. I am at this point, not in a place where I'm, and I, I realize this is on me. I'm not willing to put the time into supporting a Facebook group to generate those addresses. You know, my, my addresses right now are coming from opt-ins, from consultations, from speaking engagements, anywhere where there's a capture somewhere else that I'm, I'm able to glean those addresses. Where are some other places that I can grow my email list? So there's three, there's three prongs to email list. The first one is the current list that you have, work that. I would say either have an offer, refer a friend. Hey, we're having an event. Do you know someone? Ask them to bring one more person into your email funnel. So that's, that's just low hanging fruit. Right. It's so simple that it's like, why, why is it so simple? Because they already know one more person that probably has the same problem or needs the same solution from you. OK, so that's that's the first way you you work your list and you clean it out because you don't want people anyway that aren't in there. there right. People go, I want 10,000 people. No, you don't. You're not going to know everyone. You're not going to kiss every one of them. Right. Like when you're dating, you're not going to kiss all these frogs to figure out the prince. You want to do a couple, just a, just a few. The second strategy is when you're networking, one of the things that I've helped my clients is have like your LinkedIn profile up and ready so that they can scan it because that's a way for them to connect you on a, a platform where you then can get their email, right? You're, you're having a place where they land so they can see and engage with you, okay? Because Stephanie, one of the biggest things is an email doesn't matter if you have it, if you don't know the person. Because they feel like, oh, she's just harvesting my emails and she doesn't really care about me. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's going to spam. Like there's these assumptions just because the major box retail retailers have done that. So you have to understand you've got an Amazon culture of instant. And then you've got these people who are like, no one really cares. So you have to kind of navigate when you're trying to create a high touch personal relationship with your marketing, that that part is weaved into your strategy. Okay. Mm -hmm. when, so when they come from social and you pull them in and you meet them on LinkedIn, you're DMing and you're saying, hey, let's get together. That's another way for you to really get confidence in that email because you want that email to convert, mm -hmm. right? The two things you own is emails and contacts, right? Um, and I'll give you a bonus thing after I tell you the third thing. The third thing is when you're networking. So here you're networking, you're giving LinkedIn. I actually use this as a rule of thumb that I have an actual um, document up. It's usually my email draft and I have all my contact information. When I'm networking, I put that in there as a way to say, hey guys, I wanna do a one-to-one. -one. I'd like to connect. Here's my Calendly link. Let's go ahead and schedule a time. They go, oh, and then that's another way I, I harvest emails with a strategy of connection to people. Like I want it to be a valuable connection. And so I use that Calendly link as a way for them to engage with me. Now, I'm not looking at networking on virtual when there's like 50 people to get all 50. I look at five to seven is my rule of thumb because I want to have five to seven follow-ups because I want it to be connecting. Another thing, obviously, and, and this is, you know, just the fourth bonus. And, and I hope um, this is just a strategy we've run is when you have an email offer and you're just like, hey, Char, I want to offer a one page. Here's five hacks. You know, and this has been a rule that people have done. Because you're not trying to do Facebook, you're, you're not trying to do all that, I would actually have them land into a funnel where you can nurture them. So like it's an event or some sort of engagement that makes them see you. So you might say, hey, I want to just ho host a coffee hour, uh, you know, virtually, or hey, I want to, something that makes them want to engage with you because then it takes them down this opportunity to get to know you. And here's the bonus, the bonus secret sauce of that. 
a lot of times people are inundated and overwhelmed because Facebook groups, you guys kind of get lost, right? And it's tiresome. And, you know, we have, we have a lot of clients who have Facebook groups and, you know, when you, when you have 40 people, I want you to know 40 people. And they're like, sure, but I want 2000 people. I'm like, no, you don't. I just want you to know the 40 people. So you want to work your list in a way that either drives them to where you can really convert. So, and, and of course, if you're a coach, right, you want to convert them on a strategy call. You want to convert them into a one pager or some sort of assessment. Uh, you want to offer perhaps an event or some sort of workshop you're doing because you want to make them feel like you really want to get to know them. And so when you do emails, especially from that strategy within the strategy, it makes them feel like you're actually trying to get to know them, that you're not just trying to cold call, cold sell, but you're trying to actually get to know them. And that's where it makes it like, oh, sure, I, I actually like know these people. Like I know that it's Mary's birthday or I know that it's, you know, Carrie's, you know, her favorite dog. And so you want to think, and this is where the principles will always govern your business when you're doing sales and marketing. You're in the people business. And so when we stop worrying about the tools and the mechanisms and all of these strategies and all these platforms, and we get back to the basic principle that TikTok doesn't buy your product, Facebook doesn't buy your product, Instagram doesn't buy your product, a person buys your product. Then when you look at your strategy on email, you go, how do I nurture this person because I want to have a relationship with them. And of course you define each relationship level and you go through that part of the process. But that really is the secret sauce to true converted marketing is getting to know the person and that they make it so easy for them to engage with you. Like, oh, I know how to get in touch with her. I know how to engage with her. I know how to meet her. I know how, I know what she likes, you know? And that's really where, and Stephanie, I, I've just met you today. But I feel like that's where people will start dropping their walls and the barrier of, oh, I'm going to get sold to versus, hey, I want to get to know you. This is so interesting. I want to get to know you. And that's where your email conversion is higher for gathering those emails versus just trying to have 10,000 people on the list. I hope that helps. That is extremely helpful. Oh, great. I'm so happy. You'll do it too. That's what's awesome. I'm just sitting back thinking this was awesome. I'm so <laughs> glad that we did this. <laughs> we had a great time. Denise and everyone that will watch this after, you know, on the recording, you know, we, we want you guys just to take one. We promised one of these strategies and just start doing it. Don't try to take all 50 or a hundred of them that you've heard and all these aha moments and your three pages of notes, just take one and actually execute and see how much different your business can be. Perfect. Perfect. We have time for, I think, one more last question. Who has hey. one? Oh, evidently we have filled everybody's cups, Char. Yes, that's awesome. That we're, awesome. We're, we're filled too. That's why we're trying we to are. give as much as we can. You Jeez, know, I, guys, we want to just give, give, give. What a great kickoff to our town hall meeting. So we're going to be doing these sporadically. There is no set timetable, but you know, the intent, and I don't know that, the, and all the other ones will be as fun as this one. We're going to hope that they are, huh? Um, yeah, there should be some booms in the world, guys. Like booms. Some booms. Yes, I love the energy <laughs> level. I'm looking forward to um, your program in February. I'm definitely yeah. looking forward to our program in January for the Confident Communicators and the, the other events that are happening in December. There's a lot of fun things that are happening. You and I both have a commitment to supporting the independence of the world yes. um, and helping them be the most su successful that they possibly can be. I hope you guys have all learned something from Shar today. Um, we're going to end the recording version of this um, in just a minute. As I'm going to say my thank yous. But for those who are on the call live, uh, when I end the recording, feel free to stay and ask that question that you didn't want to ask on the live version but Shar, thanks for doing this with me today hey, i really appreciate it you. i'm looking forward to working with you and having a, a very long and fruitful relationship yes 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 thank you so much everybody thank you so much everyone talk to you soon